Hi, everybody. I just wanted to, um, I miss doing my videos, but I've been having, I'm still on vacation from my live videos, but, um, I decided not to be on vacation really bad from my unlive videos. So what I'm doing is I'm taking advice from from Laura from the Jersey Crafter. Laura says Laura says that you should just glue stuff. It she says that if you um Just a minute, I'm trying to glit off this thing. Oh, God, come leave. Um, Laura says that... I'm still trying to get the lid off of this thing. Just a minute. Okay. Ah, oh, there. Laura says that if, if you get, you know, and you just get in a, in a spot... Oh, that's getting rusty. I'll have to get a different lid for that. Got to clean that off. Get it off of there. She says that if you get like in a spot, in a place, in a dark spot or something, that you should just glue. Just glue something. I was looking for a different paintbrush. Well, this one will work. This is good. I won't use that one. I'll use this one. So I had these extra papers because I was cutting, these are all just like stained papers, but I was cutting papers for my journals, see, I was getting them in the right size. Well, those ones are too short. Oh, that's okay. It's okay for the short ones. And so then I thought, well, I'm just going to glue. And I'll turn on the not turn on the paintbrush. Well, yeah, sort of turn on the paintbrush. But, um, so I'm going to just glue. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue these papers on here. Um, oh, this is a, I just opened that honey bun box. So, so you know, we don't, you know, waste not, want not. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on here. Now I'm using just watered down glue, and it's really watered down. Just you know, it's very little water and a lot of glue. It's probably a quarter of glue, and the rest is water. And um, but um, and when you do it that way, sometimes you end up because of the water that your your paint your paper that you glue on is um it wrinkles some people don't like that look but i kind of do like that look i kind of like wrinkle well every time i look in the mirror i see wrinkles and so not many wrinkles so some some people get more wrinkles than i do but um yeah so so that's it. That's what, so. I figured I'd turn on the turn on the camera while I was gluing, and I would um, just glue some more some stuff on, and and just glue. You know, just glue. There we go. That's better. And. Um, because I am sort of really, you know, I'm kind of addicted to making videos. And I kind of like to, I like it. I like making videos. So, and then I didn't want to throw away these extra pieces of paper. When I'm done with this and it's all dry. Oh, hang on. The hubster came in. Hello? No, I'm making a little, I'm not down in the dumps, I'm down in the glue here. Okay, don't try to get it Okay. 
I love you too, darling. The hubster was coming in to see if I was down in the dumps again. He gets worried about me when I get down in the dumps. I'm not down in the dumps, really. Just sometimes I get I get these modes every once in a while where where um I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. They're just weird as heck, though. And so, and I've been there. I got behind in so many things. And, but I think, like, my things that I mail out behind. Then I was feeling very bad and guilty about that. But now, I think I'm caught up. I got a couple things still to mail out. And see, I don't worry so much about my Happy Mails going out, but when I have an order for something and I don't get it out in time, then I get very, very sad. And it just makes me very sad. And, and so I had put up on, I'll tell you, I put up on my Etsy store some some um, die cuts that because I have some beautiful dies just beautiful dies and um, and so I thought well you know I need to share some of these so I made up some collections and I posted them up on Etsy and, and bless every one of you that sent an order I got orders and I said, oh, this is going to be so wonderful. And will I start cutting the orders, you know, and getting them ready to ship. And, well, first of all, my, my, well, my, my, my plates for my die cutting machine, they got all like warped. And once they're warped, they don't seem to want to. They don't seem to want to um, cut very good at all. So finally I realized I needed to get new ones because they were worked so bad that they looked like a bowl. And that was not going to work. And so I had I ordered them and then had to wait for them to come in. And by that, and, and I always say that I'll have my stuff out. You know, because they ask you on Etsy, you know, to mark on there how long before shipping. And then I always put like three to five days, I think, is what I put on these. And, um, oh my gosh, I had some, some of my customers, not my regular customers, you know, my regular customers are just awesome, you know, they understand it. I was sending emails to let people know that I was running late and I was having problems, but not to give up on me and stuff. But um, some people don't get that, you know, some people were having issues with understanding that and so I, then that makes me even all that much more, um, all that much more worrisome, you know, because I don't like to do that. I like to be on time. I don't want to come up with an excuse. I don't want, you know, I don't need excuses. This was... And so then I go in, I used to have a lot of problems with depression. I don't now, I, I, I don't know, but I, I don't know, but I did get into a little bit of problem there. And, um, but I'm feeling much better now. Um, I kind of thought my husband, darling, he's... He didn't even go Pokemon because he wasn't going to leave me alone. I wanted him to just go Pokemon and he didn't leave me alone, but he said, nah, that's fine. I'll stay here. I did a lot of sleeping and 
He did a lot of crying. Sometimes crying is good. But, um, and so, but now I'm going to just use my scam white answer. No. What answer scam likely calls? Um, yeah, so I'm using Laura's advice and, and glue, just glue. And, and then see when you glue, then you, it's nothing. It's, I mean, it is something because once this dries, I'm going to cut it apart into ATC sizes and then continue on with some artwork on here. Gosh, maybe I should have answered that. No, if it was Jeff Rowan, my Jeffrey got a new phone. He finally, I mean, he got a phone, period. He, he, um, never had a phone before, but now his mom decided maybe he could go ahead and have a phone. So she got him a phone. He can play games. I think he thinks it's just for games. I call him up pretty regular just to check on him. It's kind of cute to have his own number with his own phone. I think children can have phones. He's ten and a half years old, so so he's got a phone now. But um, so anyway, um, yeah. So I got all of my things. At, no, I don't have more. I still have one more order of die cuts to get out. Now that I think about it, it has to go up to Canada. But now that one, I don't have to worry about which ones because this customer just wants an assortment of die cuts. So I'm going to get her a nice assortment. In fact, for all of my all of my customers that I was late in sending, I um, I sent extras, you know, some extra tie cuts, not just what was on the sale um, pictures, but I sent extra so that they would be very happy. I hope that makes them very happy. I think it will. And then also... I offered that if they're not, if they're upset to let me know and I can issue them a complete refund, and, uh, which I would do that. And um, I wouldn't mind doing that. So that would be okay. So I figured I would just glue stuff here and that's what I'm doing. Is just gluing these papers on here because see, I could have just thrown these extra papers away, but I didn't want to. Once I get these all cut apart into ATC sizes, then you know, after they're all dry and stuff, then these will be very nice backings. And what I'm doing too by doing this is I'm making it thicker making the paperboard from the packaging even thicker, you know, so heavier. So it makes a nice size ATC card. And I like making my ATCs. I really, really do. And because of the size, you know, you can get a beautiful piece of art in a very small size. I, I made, well, just the other day I made some, I call them my ATCs on steroids because they're really, it's their artist therapy card. They're not like a trading card because um, actually these ones don't, these ones that I made, I'll show you in a minute. They don't fit the um, criteria of a trading card anyway, because a trading card is supposed to fit in a package, but since our rules on our group do not have rules, our rules are made to be broken on our group. Um, 
yeah, I um, I um, made them a little bit different, differently. Made them overlapping the edges, you know. We try not to overlap the edges, but because our our rules are our rules, they're not wrote down at the White House or nothing. And um, that went down there to, to dry. I got more. I have more now. And so I got more paper over here, more pieces. So I want to get these on too. And so and I just glue. Like Lori says, you just you just glue, you just glue, and just, your mind is only on gluing. And at any time, at any time, just glue something down. Just glue something down, and um, see what happens. Let me see. These are just these were beautiful dyed papers, inked papers. These ones I think I got from Spanky. I think, I think so. And um, so she made these different colors. I bought some Kool-Aid so I could make some different colors as well. But I haven't made them yet. Kool-Aid's still sitting on the counter. But um. Yeah, these will be kind of cool. Just glue them down. And then once I cut them apart, I will um, have a lot of cards that I can continue. Because sometimes I just make, you know, the backs to get them ready. That, you know, just the cards to get them ready. And these really make a nice sturdy ATC card and um, and so yeah that's good it's all good that's all good in the hood so um I'll just keep going like this and getting this on here that's what I'm doing oh you know what I should have brought in here I didn't think about it but I, when I was die cutting I also had a lot of them that didn't cut good yeah I was having a lot of problems with doing things and I got them done I got them done I just thought it was kind of strange because everything was making me cry. I don't like to cry. I'm not a cry baby. I don't like to cry. I don't really like to cry. I very, very rarely cry. I used to, back in the day, I used to cry a lot. And everything made me cry, but not anymore. And so then when I do cry, it's like weird that I'm crying. And so, yeah. But anyway, I don't want you to think badly of me. But this is this is just where I'm at. But but as I said though, I'm going to be coming back to the live video on the eighth is my plan of July. The eighth of July for my is when I plan to come back to my live video um, I actually got an invite from a company that wants me to do like a collaboration thing on their products and I'm giving them some thought but I'm giving them some thought only because I like free stuff I'll send me free stuff to try and so 
I'd like to do that. I think I could do an honest review. And, um, okay. Now, I want to go get... Oh, I didn't put a piece right there. I'm going to... I don't have a pause on this. One day I'm going to see if I can find a camera that I can have a pause on it so I can like pause and then come back to it. But right now I don't. So just watch this stuff for me. Don't let anybody take it because I'm going to go get something and I know right where it is. So I'll get it really quickly and I'll be right back. my friends. My friends are here. My dogs are here. And so, okay, I'm back now. Thank you for watching my things. But see what I've done. Like, a lot of my die cuts. This is one of my die cuts. But what happens is sometimes, you know, because I would go to weed them, take all these pieces out, and sometimes the pieces wouldn't come out. And so, those ones I wouldn't send away. So, I said, I won't throw them away. I'm just keeping, like, see this one here? Those right there, everything cut perfect. But those little squares there, they didn't come out. They didn't, they wouldn't pop out. So, I said, well, I'm just going to... Um, I didn't throw them away. I just put them on. I, I can use them on something like this. And this one here. See, this might have been some of my problem. I was trying to do two layers at one time. And so that might have been part of my problem issue. But, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of these here and there. And this is a beautiful dye. This is a steampunk bird. And that's why a lot of people like the steampunk. And now here again, those wanted to just stay put. And I had to. So that one went in a trash pile or the recycle pile. And this one here, see too, the whole thing went fine, except right here, there was some pieces that didn't want to punch. So that one's getting put on here. So, because I, but I think, Papa's out there talking to somebody, must be talking to the dogs. But um, I'm going to see. see still, once I get this cut apart, it's going to be nice. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be nice. See, here's a chandelier. That's a chandelier hanging there. That piece right there didn't want to punch out. So, yeah, I took all of my listings down from Etsy. I'm not going to try and sell them because I just have too much trouble. And then it's just one of those things, you know, one of those things. So I'm just making me some backgrounds here for, or well, I might even never know what I might do on this. Maybe I'll do a mixed media. Did you figure before after? 
Did I pee in the floor? No, I didn't pee in the floor. Must have been the dogs. <laughs> no, the dogs pee in the floor. Yeah, the you got the doors shut. Well, I shut about one o'clock. Oh, see you. The AC on. Oh, see when they can't get outside, they probably say, "Oops, I'll just go ahead and pee in the floor." Will you clean it up for me? Okay. Dog feeding the floor. You all need to know that. It was either Oliver or Zoe. Oliver, did you pee in the floor? That's very, I love this little tray in here. I oh, yeah, that's cool. Now that one's pretty full. I'll put them. I'll put now this over here. They're pretty. I think it looks pretty just like my take that up here to dry. Pull this one back over. And um let's just go ahead and put these. That's all I have left of those. Okay, so we'll just put those up there. And we'll um, go ahead and glue them on there. That glue's still wet. And um, yep. So, yep. This is a good thing to do. If you got die cuts that aren't cutting good, don't throw them away. Just go ahead and glue them to something. Mm -hmm. I need to put some more water in there because it's thick down there in the bottom. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Right side right there. That'll dry nicely. Now I want to show you just a little bit. Now just a little bit. Um, okay, we'll put this over here, turn this area to dry, that one's up there drying, that's all good. But now I want to show you, well, this, let me move these. So I've just been doing some thought stuff I like to do, and this, these are all my steam punkery. Now they're sort of like ATCs, but... I have clips on them because I was glued because now see this is made with let's see this is made on if you can see right here there's the umbrella man I did him with a um, embossing folder on aluminum can so these all these are all of these are aluminum can and then I have wood pieces. Some of these gears are wood. Some are, this is a guitar here, which it's wood. And then some of these gears are metal. Oh, this flower is metal and this corner thing is metal. And I, um, I have some screen on there that's metal. And so, and now this one here, I might still go further on this one and add some brown because now like this one I kind of like this now that this is um well I really like this actually this balloon is wood the gear is metal the leaves are wood this is wood the background is metal is that one metal I think so and um, this flower is metal, and that, and then inside the, in, inside that flower there, if you can see that, I put some like seed beads in there, just for color. This is um, metal flower, the metal 
soda can um, is on the background. There's some screen material there. These flowers are metal. There's three flowers, but with a wooden piece in the middle. And then I, I, there's a lot of metal on there. This the um, Eiffel Tower is wood. See, but I didn't make them really like when you're making official ATC. You shouldn't have anything hanging off the edges. But I was just making little art pieces that I'm going to be sending off in, in um, Happy Mail or or leaving as um, leaving in places for um, what do I call it? It's I call it something the um, abandoned art and so that might be what I'll do with that. Oh I like this one. This one has got a lot of layers this one actually is a uh, flower, uh, uh, like a prima kind of flower here, but I've got so much stuff on it that it's um, stiff. And then there's wood, and this, I think both of these are wood. And then there's a clock back here that is wood. Um, a piece of... Oh, this is just a piece of metal. Oh, I, don't, I don't think the back of this one was metal because I put that little piece there of the um, aluminum can that was embossed. And then I put some beads in there and just piled them up on glue. But then I did some painting over them. And then this one here is another of the hot air balloon. Well, they're kind of hard to see because they're dark. Maybe because I was in a dark mood. Not really. I just love steampunk. But um, I just think it's fun to do things that are steampunk. But a lot of metal flowers, wooden pieces. And then this one. It was supposed to go this way because I thought I'd make it to hang and I put, but then that looks like a heart, so it looks like it should go this way. But then my number one is upside down. But now in here I have a puzzle piece. This is just a rolled up piece of that aluminum can, and this was a piece of um, of just copper wire that I just rolled around. A, wound around a paintbrush handle. This is actually off an old broken watch. And a metal piece, another one of the flowers of the um, Prima flowers, but I put glue over it to harden it. And then this here is, was a metal key. And this whole background is embossed metal from aluminum can. This one's got a llama. That was wood. This one, the whole back is aluminum can. And then I put even some grommets on there just to make a hole in the metal flower. And then for my coloring on them, I used the Lindy's ink sprays. Now, I just got them. They're new to me, so I'm learning how to use them. And, and there is a lot of videos to, to help me learn what all you can do with them. And um, so, but I think I'm going to really enjoy using them because I got some ink sprays. And then I also have something that's called Magicals. They're by Lindy's as well. And I'm using them and I am already so in love with these. I just love these. In fact, this color, if you can see, it's like a blue. But the bottle, let's see, where is that? Right here is the bottle. It's called Glitz Spray. And when you look at it, it looks white. When you spray it, it is blue. I don't know why. I guess because it's magic. I don't know. From Lindy's Stamp Game. But it made that look blue. And I love that. I think it is so pretty. And... And, and that's where all the color on all of these. This here one, I, this is like metal here. 
This is, I put the number 18 here. I've been some wound copper wire, a piece of wood. This clock is wood. This here piece is a, just a piece of metal um, from a soda can embossed. I like that water faucet right there and a butterfly. And it's like nothing really matches. And then here I just put some glue down. What was that? Was that a heart? I think it was a heart under there. I just put some glue down and then I took some just seed beads, little tiny ones, and sprinkled them on the glue and let that dry. And then I just went around with some paint and I painted on there. But I got quite a few of these made. And I just may make some more tonight because the hubster is going off now. He's when I just asked him when I went out there if he was going to go to the park and he said if I was feeling okay he was going to go and I told him I was just fine and that he should go ahead on to the park so um, I think I might make some more of these just because I'm just having so much fun with these and I am going to I may even I don't know I gotta come up with a little tag to go with my. I have put um, out a few of my abandoned art projects with just a little handwritten note, but I want to make something up that um, that really explains that it's just abandoned art. I think that'll be fun. I think they're very pretty. I I think if you like steampunk. And some people do not like it because it's dark. And some people like mostly colored things, you know, things with color. But these are dark, but they still have color. It's sort of like the Finnebear kind of thing, all done in dark. So, um, but I don't know how to do, like, all that Finnebear and stuff. I got more metal things in here. So I'll probably pull these out of here. I have more. See, I got like flowers and this. That would go good on. These all will fit. A little corner thing. These will all fit nicely. I could just start making one right now while the camera's on, but I kept you going enough. And um, probably need to go get me something to eat. Papa's been keeping me in drink. He thinks I'm going to, whatever you call that, when you don't have enough hydration. I don't know what that is. But yeah, see, I can, I can make some more. These are metal. I like working with metal. And I just glue it, I glue it together with, um, the, I glue it all together using the E6000 glue. That's what I find that glues this stuff better. It takes a while to dry, so I like to do them, like get everything glued together at night. That way it can all dry and um, overnight. And then in the morning, it's all dry and glued. And... Um, then I can finish, start painting and spraying and adding whatever I'm going to add to it. I can do that after they're all good and dry. Um, I think you could probably do it with hot glue. And I don't know how long the hot glue would hold up because I've done some things with hot glue, putting wood together, and it hasn't held up very good. It, it um that my it it didn't hold up real good with using on wood to wood and so and here i got wood to metal or wood to paper i just decided to use the e6000 glue you know what i'm gonna do now i'm just i'm gonna let you go but i'm gonna go ahead and read because that is just what i do i risk not reading and i need to read to myself sometime too and I think what I need is to have something out of this Heart Thoughts book by Louise Hay. So let me just open to a page that looks like, that might, I got so many. Okay, my mind 
here we go, this one. I try to find something that doesn't look like I've read. Okay, good health is having no fatigue, having a good appetite, going to sleep, and awakening easily, having a good memory, having good humor, having precision in thought and action, and being honest, humble, grateful, and loving. How healthy are you? My mind, body, and spirit are a healthy team. The body is always talking to you. What do you do when you get a message from your body, such as a little ache or pain? Usually you run off to the medicine cabinet or the drugstore and take a pill. In effect, you say to the body, shut up, I don't want to hear you. Don't talk to me. That is not loving the body. When you get the first ache or pain and the slightest things seem to go wrong, or the um, slightest things seem to go wrong, close your eyes and very quietly ask yourself, what is it I need to know? Listen a few minutes for the answer. It may be as simple as get some sleep, or it may be stronger. If you want your body to work well for you for the long term, then you need to be part of the body, mind, and spirit healing team. This is something I really needed to read today. This is something I probably should have read it three, three or four days ago. But this, this is very good. This is very good. So I'm glad that I read that. Okay. And this one here is I listen carefully to my body's messages. And so I'm going to glue a little bit more, I think, because I have a few more scraps I want to get used up. I think I'm going to work on these this evening while I'll pop this down at the park. But I just, just did want to kind of say hello. I was on my other I, I was on my other channel a little while this morning. I was well it wasn't me actually, it was Jose. Jose's taken over my body every once in a while. Jose. Okay. But I just want to get me, myself, and I today. So um yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to um do some more gluing and I'm going to use up these papers. And I, maybe I'm going to work a little bit more on my journals um, because that's all I'm going to put in my Etsy store is finished journals so that when I get an order, my whatever I am going to send out is finished. Oh, actually, my I'm going to put uh, one collection of laces. I'm going to put that up. And um, that was another trouble I had. I had put up, uh, I had put up a a um, video that said about my laces and I got lots of orders for my laces and I just appreciate it and most 95% of my customers were so happy with what they received but then I had a couple that were not happy because see my laces contained X amount of yards of all the rainbow colors plus my extras that I put in that I just had pieces of here and there I put the extras in well I had two people that didn't like the extras they said the extras were not like what was in the video and they were very disappointed and that was no way to run a business or a railroad or something and so I sent those two people both an extra package for free to try and make things up to them for making them unhappy. But I decided now I will, I'm going to put up another collection of lace, but just which what I have is the colored laces in one inch and two inch, and the collection is going to have one inch and two inch laces in different colors. And I'll make it very clear as to what they're going to be in and I'll get them listed as well and um, those will be I'll probably list them before I get back on on the 8th too if I get all this stuff together straight in my cart that I got sitting next to me which is my ATC cart I'm gonna get all the things I need on my ATC cart there and um, have all of those things ready to go so that I don't have to 
we'll all still have to stop and run, go look for things, but that's just how I am because that's part of me. Okay, so I just want to say I love you guys and thank you so much. Thank you so much. I wonder if you can see me if I go like this. Look, I got my hair wadded up on top of my head. Like this. Okay, it wadded up on top of my head. But, um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, um, just let you know that I love you very, very, very much. And I thank you for, um, being patient with me because I'm going to get back on here and I'm going to be my crazy self because that's when I know I'm well is when I'm my crazy self and I like being my crazy self I do I don't like to be all that mature stuff and I don't I don't I don't do adulting well and so um I'm getting it I'm getting back into it I'm getting back into that swing so anyway I want God to watch over you every step you take every move you make and you just let him guide every one of your steps because if he guide if you let him guide your steps you stumble less that's stumbling. Oh, I know. I'm stumbling. But my stumble is getting better. Okay, God bless you all. And I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully that won't be too far away. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, okay. Oops, now everything wants to bend around. Let me see. Let me see how we do this. Oh, I've got to get my mouse here and put it in the mouse trap. Okay, there we go.